Hey guys, Tichu22 here, and we're back uh, for another episode of Paper Mario 64. Brought to you by MuchGames.ca, and uh, I'm just going to very quickly take a nap here. And we shall be on our way, and what we need to do is find out where to go to get to Dry Dry Ruins. So really, the only thing we can do is just ask around. But in the meantime, let me go to the post office and see what we gotta do. You've received some mail. Okay. Looks like Cooper Cooper has one. And this is from Colorado's wife. Although, why would Colorado's wife be interested in Cooper? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said that she's going to cook you a delicious dinner when you when you come back, so you'll have something to look forward to. Oh yes, and if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. No, I, I think that should do it. Well... We do... I do need to get a sleepy sheep, so that's one thing I need to do. Let's see what this says. More than a match for the Koopa Brothers Fortress. I'm gonna have to turn that down. Um... Oh my goodness, my phone is blowing up. But anyway... Yeah, so it just simply talks about how we saved the... The first star spirit. The train parked at the station at the south of town is pretty spiffy, isn't it? I call it K-64. Unfortunately, a huge boulder has fallen on the track and the train can't go anywhere. Talk about a crying shame. A railroad lover. Hmm, that might be a clue. But in the meantime, let me go over here. Because that's where the, the shop was. And, uh, there's a little thing up there. We'll have to... It, there's, like, once you get to this point, then all the stuff that you could do in this game expands. Let me go to the Sleepy Sheep. I will buy it. Let's see, how many... Let me see what items I have. No? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Um... I think I sh I think that'll do because I need like at least some slots for uh, oh uh, there was at least one other place I needed to go uh, is it over here okay well this this part right here I can't do anything about so and of course if you go over here you just go back to um, Koopa Village but there's nothing we can do at Koopa Village at this point so yeah but there is something up here. There's this building that we couldn't get access to, but we can now. What is this place? You must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master, head of this dojo. Please pardon me, my health is rather delicate. Every day we train in this dojo to improve body and mind. You may challenge us. Tell me, what business do you have here today? Then Chan will fight you. Okay, so we get to take on Chan. Not Jackie Chan, but you know what I mean. Chan the man. Okay. Well, this is going on. I'm just going to get to Goombario. And we're going to find out about Chan. Well, we'll we'll uh we'll come back here every now and then to see what happens. But with that said, let's go to Chan. This is Chan of the dojo. He is training under the master and is happy to fight us. His max HP is 15, attack power is two, and defense power is two. Hammer attacks won't work well, but you can turn him over with the with jump attacks. Once he's flipped over, he's easy. No mercy, Mario. Ooh, he does pack a punch, but 
like he said, we can just jump on him. There we go. Now we got him. How dishonorable. But we can still attack him. And of course, you know... Oh, and he got up. I'm impressed. And, okay, that was a bad jump. But of course, thankfully, uh, you know, if, if especially if you don't want to use your FP, you can um, just simply do this strategy, and you'll 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 be in for um, a victory here. So, I mean, that's a little good uh, strategy. If you can save your FP, do it. But use it when you need it. And of course, I need to know how to time my jumps very, very carefully, because obviously, I'm not doing too good here. Like with Gumbario, I'm doing well, but. Okay, much better. But we almost have them, though. And there you go! There you have it! And unfortunately, you don't get any uh, experience points for that. The winner is Mario. You must train harder. Very well, I give you this, Mario. You get a first degree card. Hopefully his cough will subside, but uh, we'll be back uh, at the end of the next chapter to find out what we need to do. But for now... Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to make my way to the... Uh, to Koopa Coot. Uh, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cut off here and we'll get to Koopa Coot uh, when I deliver him the Sleepy Sheep. So give me a moment and we'll be right back right after this. Okay, we're back and now we're in front of Koopy Koopa Coot's house. So let's go back inside or go inside and give him the Sleepy Sheep. Yes, I am a hero. Sweet dreams, here I come. <laughs> and let's see, what is he gonna get? One coin. I go through all that trouble just to get... Wait, you have something else? Did you know that there's a playroom in Toad Town? If I remember right, it used to be around the station. It's strictly for members only, so the entrance to it is well hidden. I bet you can find it, though. This is a silver credit. Let's you play once... You're inside the playroom. Back in my heyday, I used to go there and make a lot of money. But I got tired of the hoopla, so the silver credit's yours. Good luck. Make some money. Hee hee hee. So yeah, that'll give me access to the playroom. So that's... Not, actually, that's not bad. Though I only get one stinking coin. Anyway, we'll be back at Toad Town um, right after this, so stay tuned. Alright, we're back, and now, uh, we just got back from the, from Koopa Village, uh, the long way. Again, there will be a way to travel much more quickly, but for now, that's the only way we can do that. So I'm just gonna recover some HP, if, if anything. That was about, like, two minutes worth of footage I might have to cut out, but that's fine. Okay, so... Oh yeah, there's also something over here. And... My dad's opened his shop. Let's see what this is. It's a badge shop! So this is good if you want to get some badges. So let's see what we got right here. We have the speedy, sis the speedy spin, so you can increase the distance Mario can spin dash. The first attack. You can destroy a weak opponent with a first strike. Not bad. D down pound. This disables an enemy's defense power and injures it. Hmm. Some of these badges are good, but some of them are just... There's, there's better badges I can think of. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, well, there's there there was an additional option in the the sequel, but right now apparently these are the only ones I can get. But I'm not interested in any of them. So, but I appreciate the uh, the gesture though. But there is one person over here, so here's where I'm going to have to do right now. I'm go. Wrong one. Wrong one. Is it this one? No. Hmm. That's weird. Well, in any event, we have Chuck Quizmo again. So now, yes, I would like to try the quiz. Let's go to the question here. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? It, it was yellow. Yep, that was right. Well, I mean, really, that's really the only color we can break with the, with the hammer we have now. So my... And of course, each time you do it, you get a star piece, so that's awesome. I might have to uh, hoard up on star pieces before I go back to Star Haven again. Okay. But uh, I understand there's more down here, and of course, we couldn't go any further down here because of the earthquake. But now this area is at, is accessible. And what do we have here? You're going to learn to be a train conductor. You know, when I was a kid, uh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Was be a train conductor. And we have, um, let's see, what do we have here? Oh! Who's this? That's tasty. By far the greatest cook around. My mom... Trust me, my mom is a really good cook, but sh but even she admits that she could learn a thing or two from Tasty. Tasty will cook up, will cook for you if you take ingredients to her. Come on, let's ask her. All right, I'm just gonna show this off a little bit. But as far as the now, here's another thing that contributes to the 100% rating. It's uh, cooking items, and I will be honest with you, I am not that good with recipes. Um, and plus, I don't even have um, the, the, uh, the guidebook, like, I have a guidebook for the, for a Thousand Year Door, but I don't have one for, uh, Paper Mario, the original, so, again, this is not a 100% playthrough, but I will try to show off as much as I can, so, I'm gonna show, uh, show this off here, let's see, I'm gonna give you, I'm probably gonna give you a Volt Shroom, I have no use for this. Yes, I will. So, and she calls me honey. <laughs> That's nice. So anyway, she's going to cook. And there's no telling what we'll end up with. But what do we have? Not too bad. A hot shroom. So we took a volt shroom, which is supposed to be something that is a deterrent. And now it's turned into a snack that can restore... 15 HP and 5 FP, and especially at this point in the game, that's amazing. You know, I'll, I'll do one more. Let's do one more. Uh, let's see. You're better off using uh, items that could easily be incorporated, like a POW block. I don't think you would use a POW block. But you could use a honey syrup. Let's see what this will make. But of course, uh, there's uh, other things you can do. But... I'll explain more in detail uh, when we get to it. And we take a... Uh, what is it? Uh, a honey syrup and turn it into a soda. That's that's kind of weird how you can just turn some one thing into a completely different thing. Not only does it restore 5 FP, but it can also cure shrinking or poisoning. Which may actually help. So, I might use it. But, uh, we'll come back every now and then to see what she's up to. And also, anything we can do with that. What's in here? Okay, okay, so we can't go in there. Fair enough. Um... But what's over here, though? Beyond here lies 
gloomy forever forest. You'll get lost for sure. I advise you not to enter. So yeah, you could go in there, but um, at this point, it's too dangerous to go in. I will be honest with you because the enemies there are much tougher than what we got. And what's here? What's this? <gasps> a, f a flower character. Bulb. -bul Flower fields. And we have a magical seed. Mmm, okay. Yeah, so there's also another side quest, which we might have to talk to uh, Bulb Bulbs. And they will give us these seeds. And, this, and, and the seeds will uh, contribute to... Um, to getting to the next quest, but at this moment, uh, we can't get there yet. But, but they are important, so do keep that in mind. Also, we have a, we have this, uh, what is this? Uh-oh. So we have, what is this? <laughs> very funny. Very, very funny. Okay, so... There's a couple of places we can go, but we can't go here, and we can't go here. So... And this is another place you can go for a side quest, because... Well, honestly... Every time you complete a chapter and you gain a new power, you'll be, you'll be able to explore more and more. And in fact, before we explore any more... Uh, I'm just going to save here. Until next time, this is Tiju22, signing off. Have a good day, everybody.